Hello everyone. Um, today I'd like to share with you an NSK AIP success story involving a manufacturer of aluminium cans supplying the food and beverage sector. One of the world's largest can makers, uh, making cans for the soft drinks, uh, isotonic drinks and beers, uh, etc., was experiencing regular unexpected production stoppages due to the premature failure of bearings fitted to the spray heads inside of their coating machines. This was causing significant disruption to production and, as you can imagine, resulted in high downtime costs too. Following discussions with one of our authorised distributors, NSK recommended to the customer that we conduct an AIP application review, one of the many services available from our AIP service menu. What followed was a full evaluation of the application, including grease analysis, and we ultimately concluded that the bearings were seizing due to the grease being ejected from them as a result of high pressure air that was needed as part of the manufacturing process. To counter this recurring bearing failure issue, the NSK engineers proposed a change to the original bearings arrangement. In fact, we recommended that the customer replace the existing metal shielded bearings with our non-contact VV sealed version, together with a change to the bearing geometry, which involved changing to a greater than normal clearance, C3 standard. This change ultimately resulted in improved grease retention and a dramatic increase in bearing operating life from seven days to 110 days. The outcome for the customer was a cost saving of 240,000 euros as a result of both increased bearing life and a significant reduction in the associated downtime costs. This is another great example of our asset improvement program in real action. If you're interested for more information, please get in touch with your local authorised distributor or message me on LinkedIn. Thanks for watching again, guys. Stay safe and I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.